This video will be about snake locomotion. I mean, hasn't everyone wondered about it at some point? While some people see it with fascination, others fear it. Now, to begin, let's observe. As you've probably noticed before, snakes don't usually slither in a perfectly straight line. They're usually kind of S-shaped. Also, the snake's body always seems to follow exactly where the head went. There are actually many different kinds of snake locomotion, depending on where and how the snake lives. The kind people are most familiar with is called lateral undulation. This is where the snake moves forward in an S-shaped motion. This is mostly used by the more agile terrestrial snakes. But lateral undulation has a con. It can only be done on rough surfaces. A snake is able to do this by pushing back on rough surfaces as it passes them. And by definition, a smooth surface is not rough. Here's what happens when a snake attempts to move on a smooth surface. He had a hard time getting anywhere. And I did a project that proved this using actual numbers. I tested the speed of my snake on three different surfaces, a smooth floor, a carpet, and a fuzzy rug. The conclusion was both predictable and fascinating. The fuzzy rug is by far the most textured of the three, so in theory the snake should move fastest on it. And it did! And, as seen previously, the snake could hardly move at all on the smooth floor. Snakes can also climb and swim using lateral undulation. I hope you liked this video and were able to understand. If so, subscribe so you don't miss any new videos.